Ooh, I think we got to the end. Q. No longer a typical school campus, the floors and walls, the air, even the aura are slightly off. It wouldn't surprise me to see a monster pop out from its shadows. It's very much like a dungeon here. Welcome, potential master. With a shocking suddenness, a voice begins speaking. It sounds like it's coming from the empty sky above. <coughs> if you are looking for answers, you must reach the goal. Now please, step forward. Ooh, an item! The illuminated cube in front of you is called an item folder. Inside of it is a farewell present of sorts for those about to face the coming trial. Touch it to open it. Obtain Feather Shard. I think that's a healing item if I remember right. I can't open my items. Uh, inventory. Yeah. For you, it is an enemy program. It is programmed to attack on site. Touching it will initiate you to battle. But you won't actually fight as you are too fragile. The effigy given to you will fight in your steed. If your effigy is ever destroyed in battle, you will no longer be shielded from harm. To put it bluntly, you will die. So be very careful in battle. But there's no need to be afraid. For now, just do what I say and you'll be perfectly safe for the time being. First off, why don't I explain a little about battles. First of all, there are three basic commands you can issue in battle. Attack, guard, and break. Each turn in battle is comprised of six actions, and you'll need to tell your effigy what your strategy is to be. Battles are divided into six turns, with six commands being issued each turn. Once confirmed, they will be, they'll be executed all at once. <coughs> the enemy before you should be quite easy to defeat, as it will only perform break. Break, which is focused solely on power, shouldn't be much of a problem against attack. Now I use the attack command to destroy the program. Use the directional buttons to choose the command, and then press X to confirm your selection. Enter six commands and use using the up directional button, and then press X to annihilate the enemy. Fine, I will. Okay, so basically how this game, like its battle system works, and even though it looks very basic at first, it is it gets pretty deep later on. There is these three right here, okay, attack, break, and guard. And these are three basic commands you got, and then later on you can get special skills and stuff that you can uh, use. And you can also use items. And basically what they did, see, attack beats break, break beats guard, and guard beats attack. It's a rock, paper, scissors. But however, it's a lot deeper than that, especially later on as we get skills and items and stuff like that. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you get three correct attacks like that, where you are beating your opponent, then you get a bonus attack. And that's why you can attack up to a maximum of seven times, because three attacks in a row, bonus attack, three attacks in a row, bonus attack. So it's very, very... It, it can, if you aren't careful and your opponent it, it, uh, like abuses that a lot, you're gonna be screwed over a lot. One thing to know in that eighth turn, you'll have to plan a series of six moves in order to beat your foe. The goal is still, is still far ahead. If you must bask in the effort of your victory, do so while moving forward. You can overcome break by using an attack command. Yep. It does, it does a tutorial. It ain't obvious enough. Hey, bones! Puzzles. Oh, look, here comes another program. You seem nervous. Perhaps you're anxious about fighting in another battle? Do not be alarmed. That enemy isn't enough, strong enough to harm you. It is programmed to only use attack. While attack is the most potent action, using guard will allow you to defend an enemy counter attack. Guard can be used to reduce the damage caused by an enemy attack, but I trust you notice. Guard will not only block an opponent's attack command, but will also unleash a devastating counter attack. Now that you know about the, how this battle will fold, use the appropriate command to defeat the enemy program. Eh. Also, guard is really useful against most skills as well, because otherwise you're going to get your butt kicked. Then, extra turn and out of reality. Wow! Ninja moves. <laughs> Part of it kind of wishes they let you keep the effigy. Uh, but oh well. We get Saber after this. Woo! 
<clears throat> yes, that's, that's exactly right. As you may have already noticed, performing three successful actions in a row results in a chain. By performing multiple chain attacks, you can perform a devastating follow-up attack on your opponent. If you have three strikes in a row, you perform an extra attack, which is a special additional attack. But doing multiple chain attacks in the heat of battle may be difficult, the results make it worth the effort. Now please proceed. Fossils! The, the, the dinosaur nerd inside of me wants to, I collect those. I wanted to be a paleontologist as a kid. Shut up. <laughs> you should be used as to. Uh, <clears throat> you should be used to the fundamentals of battle at this point. But I'll walk you through just one last one. This one last time. In this program will only use guard and do nothing in battle but defend against harm. But no matter how stout one's defenses may be, it will be for not against the break command. You can shatter the enemy's guard by using break. Remember, always use the appropriate command for any given situation. Here's a funny thing, if I, if you want to have a reenactment of the Metapod battle, just hit guard the entire time <laughs> when something spams guard. Uh, it's hilarious. Uh, anyway, so yeah, if, you, if both players use attack, then both players take damage. Uh, both people use guard, nothing happens. If both people use break, it's kind of just like the same thing. If both people use attack, it's kind of annoying. Here we go. Adding my own special effect noises, I don't care. Ninja move! Jackie Hepsi! <laughs> you have been through three battles and have used the attack, guard, and break commands. Someone as intuitive and observant as you must have already noticed this. Each of the three attacks bounces each other out, creating a situation where no attack is dominant. The three battle commands attack, break, and guard all have immutable relationships with one another. With one another. Yeah. What I just covered is the absolute basis of battle and the minimum info you'll need to know. Once you master the basics, all that's left is to test yourself in battle and gain valuable experience. Now please proceed. Yep. Well, that's a big skull. Armor Knights! Cool! All of the enemy programs you've faced so far only used one move, which won't happen in a real fight. Except it sometimes does. <laughs> uh, like you, your enemy will choose their actions based on the situation and general observation. Their actions will be very difficult for you to predict at first. As you face the same enemy multiple times, you will be able to read their tendencies and patterns accurately. This is really cool. Okay, so as you're grinding through a dungeon, uh, Enemies, you'll start to notice that they tend to have a pattern and everything, and as you kill more enemies, uh, you'll be able to predict what they'll do, and it's almost always right. Uh, so you're able to more easily win and more easily grind the XP and stuff. It's very, very awesome. <clears throat> when you enter a battle, your, when you first enter a battle, your points moves will be mostly hidden from being able to guess your points moves with only a limited amount of info is to keep the victory. And see, that's one of the big themes of this game, is that knowledge is power. And you'll see that more as we get into the actual meat of the game. Although, considering your lack of fighting experience, I may be expecting far too much from you. But anyway, please try you this. Okay, so attack, attack, guard. I'm just going to take a while to guess and say that's probably going to repeat that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah, I was right. Okay. Good job. Alright then, please proceed to the final room. The hiccups won't go away. Seriously, at least are really big bumps. Look at that! That's a that's a that's a spine. It's a big spine. Oh, we got pizza of it. <laughs> there we are, to the Grand Door Room. I made it. At the end of a very long road, after going through a door that suddenly appeared in the wall, the oppressive air of this place where the spirits of the dead still linger, here's my goal. That's what I thought. Was. Oh. Oh, well. There's a rain, it appears as if someone had collapsed. I'm looking to his face, it's the student who was following the video just now. 
call out to him but get no reply. I strike him in the attempt to wake him up and then I notice he is still killed. He goes pale as a corpse before me and I can no longer think coherently. All I can do is stare and below him. It is at this moment. A fellow in effigy lying next to him and the student comes to its feet with the clatter. After having to fight several programs to get here, it's obvious that this thing is an enemy as well. Without warning, it suddenly twists around and comes right at me. If I'm correct, this is supposed to be a fight that you cannot win. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Dang it. Yeah, I think it's guaranteed to always counter you. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. That is that good? Okay, uh, use break first. Attack. Uh, break. No, 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 use. Use break ten. I'm gonna go back. Okay, so I used break first. And this, this. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna win this. What? Dang it! Yeah, again, I don't think you're supposed to be able to win that. <laughs> uh, that's not good. There's some lacking as well. You can hear the sound of a distant voice. The time has come. With your inevitable loss, I will consider this round of preliminaries to be over. Farewell, I pray you will find peace in your annihilation. That is the voice's final words to me. I don't have the power to protest. I can just stare to four. I think I'm going to die here. Suddenly, at the end of the now hazy of my now hazy vision, a number of brown colored lumps seem to rise from the floor. Brown. Actually, it might just be that I just noticed them now. They may have been there from the beginning for all I know. Those lumps are the bodies of an untold number of fallen Sigma Harvard Academy students. Well then! Hmm. The guy before me wasn't the only one here to fall. All of the others made it hit here and died, unable to do anything. In a very short while, I suppose I'll become one of them. <coughs> Maybe I should just close my eyes now. I did all the all the that I could, so maybe it'd be better for that to end now. I refuse to give up. I refuse to give up. I summon all of my strength in an attempt to get back on my feet. I rose to try to move an unbearable, intense pain streaks through my entire body. That's how it's going to be. No, this is. Still refuse to give up. I don't want it to end like this. A massive wall of text. I cannot ignore the intense pain coursing through my body. I've reached a point where I no longer see stars as my eyes just feel like they're on fire. I feel like all five of my senses are being ripped off from my body. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of pain. I'm afraid of losing my senses. I'm afraid of becoming a corpse. And the most terrifying thing, disappearing without a trace for any reason at all. It's not right that I disappear here. My consciousness shot through with waves of distortion screams out against the injustice of it all. That was the person purpose of suffering through these headaches just through those headaches just to fade away here and now. What were they all for it if I just fade away here and now? I have to stand up. It's okay if I'm scared, it's okay if I'm in pain, I have to rise up a little bit. Because I have yet to fight off a fight of my own full volition on my own terms.